up YouTube? It is your boy Aaron Wilds Out TV coming to you with another <laughs> video, okay? Um, I should not be on this camera looking like this, but since um Yeah. It's whatever. But listen. This video we're going to be talking about the come up Atlanta season three, the premiere that I, that just went off. I looked, um, I was watching on my computer. See, my computer's right over there. Yes, ma'am. All right. Um, you see how you just start a video and then automatically forget? It's sad like that. But anyway, uh, hmm. What can we say about this episode? It really wasn't much. It was just basically piggybacking off of um season two reunion everybody was talking about the reunion how dion got um trampled and got his wig tugged on i was in the chat i was in the chat just giving a lot y'all i was just giving a lot but anyway um what can i say about this so okay let's start here because i'm not gonna go into like alphabetical order alphabetical right yeah i was about to say something else chat but anyway, um, yeah, I'm not going to go into, um, in order. I'm going to just say this. First of all, so we meet the newbies. Let's, let's, let's talk about the newbies and get them out the way. So, um, Judy, so we introduced, we got introduced to Judy, Anthony, and Messiah. First of all, I think, uh, we're going to get a kick out of, uh, Messiah. Um, I think I've told y'all many, many times how I've known of Messiah. It was through Bigo. I like his personality. I like what he gives. Um, first of all, that song, um, that he was doing in the studio, it was a bop. I could feel like, I can just, I was, I was like, let me, let me not judge too hasty because a lot of people was judging in the comments. It was like, oh, it was remedial bars. Like it wasn't, it was given like cutesy you know, Sesame Street type vibes, you know, type of bars. But I was like, you know, it could be cute. He could be doing something cutesy with it. And then I was hearing the playback and cause it was playing through the headphones. And I was like, oh, this shit was cute. It was actually cute. I'm not even gonna lie. So um, I can't wait for it to come out. Hopefully it comes out, Messiah. I can't wait for that song because I feel like it's going to be cute, 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 and cute. So, let's get on to Julie, um, Judy Doll and Anthony. Now, these two has been making their motherfucking rounds, has been causing the girls scandalous. It's just these two has really been on everybody's lips as well as others. We didn't get Sky in this episode, so we're probably going to get that later. Probably in episode two when they do the dinner scene. I don't know when is that dinner scene gonna come up with Sky. I think um thinking I think uh Sky was checking Dion or whatever, but I don't know which episode that's gonna be in. Hopefully it's soon because bitch, I wanna see that episode. So Judy Daw and Anthony. First of all, Anthony is very, very pretty. Anthony Daw is very, very pretty. I will say that Anthony is very, very pretty. Live for that Judy doll. Um, so Judy doll, let's uh, let me do Judy doll first. Judy doll, I wasn't understanding why you had your whole freaking beard because it wasn't a beard, it was um, girl, I'm gonna put the name in the bottom so y'all can see. But you had your facial hair on with a full wig and everything, and I was like, girl, you didn't shave before you got into that confessional, like it was just. I was like, girl, all right. But Judy Doll, she's pretty when, you know, her her shit is shaved because they showed another confessional of hers in, um, in the confessional and she looked really, really pretty. She looks really, really thick. She's a thick girl, live for that. She gives me a mix between Queen Latifah and Rodney from Players Club. She's real big, she's real strong. She gives like she could tumble a couple of football players and a couple of baseball players and baseball players at the same fucking time. 
She's a strong girl, live for her, but she's pretty. Somebody in the chat just said, bitch, I feel like we was going in on the chats because people were calling her. I think I called her uh, Queen Latifah. Somebody else called her Deb Adney. I even said, girl, she could be a part of my football team, bitch. We was just, just clowning and keying on Judy's time, but it wasn't really serious. So, you know, Judy was giving. She was... You know, I feel like she's a part of the ballroom scene. And, you know, um, she's, you know, I liked her outfit in that particular scene. She was cute. She was giving little, you know, Ronnie vibes and shit. She was giving it. She was giving it. No shade, no tea. Okay. All right. Um, what else? Uh, Anthony was giving cute, cute little white girl, Kim K, Ariana Grande, um, a little bit of Miley Cyrus, a little bit, maybe? I don't know. Probably an Amber Rose when we didn't know that that bitch could talk type shit. Like, she was just a mute in the background. She's all she was good for taking pictures, like, type shit. I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, um... What else? Uh, so let's get on to pleasures. Fuck. Okay, the newbies. We got them out the way. And I really didn't care about what they were doing. They were talking about like how they're there to hair, makeup, um, all that jazz and music, blah, blah, blah. On to the next. So, Quay is doing his thing. First of all, shout out to Quay. Shout out to Quay. Uh, we did peep him in... Uh, uh, BMF, I think he was the one um, on the bleachers somewhere. I, I remember seeing Quay. First of all, Quay looked taller on TV than he does on uh, YouTube. So we have to we have to take that effect. He looked tall on TV, but he looked short on here. No shade. <laughs> um, but love Quay. He's cute. He's doing. He's still doing his thing. Let's go on to Milan. Milan is doing his thing. He had to close the shop due to scams and shit. Y'all bitches. You know, after y'all get all done up, then y'all don't got no money. Knowing damn well y'all ain't got no money. Bitch, y'all want to motherfucker rescind the motherfucking funds. Y'all want to motherfucker dispute the charge and shit. Y'all some late ass, ugly ass bitches. And I can't stand y'all hoes. No shade. First of all, I can't wait till I get my motherfucking business shot. Y'all hoes will never... I will put a stop to that shit. No shade. Anyway. But. Overall. Overall. Okay. Cool. You know. His business got. Little trampled. Due to Corona. Yada. 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 Um. Yeah. 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 All right. Move on from Milan. Now we have. Um, Pyro. Which is Darion. Uh, he changed his rapper name from Stallion to Pyro. I live for the Pyro. Um, that was great marketing. I live for that. First of all, the confessional with him and his dude. I live for it. Um, his man had on black turtleneck. You had on the red with your necklace, Pyro. I live for that, Pyro. Um, you know what, uh, Pyro? I did say that you look funny in the face. I'm going to have to take that back, honey. I'm going to have to take that back. You look real handsome in your confessionals, and that's not being me and being a fake bitch. Exactly seeing it on camera, actually seeing it, and was like, oh, he's not, he's not bad looking. No shade. You do got a wide mouth, though. You do got, you do have a wide mouth. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, keep from that. But you are a handsome fella. No shade. Um, girl, why well, I feel like I got a like a lazy eye, girl. Ugh, girl. Anyway, um. Hmm. I'm still thinking on it. I'm still thinking, girl. Um, but Pyro and his situation with his man, his man just got out. I don't know how many. I don't. I don't know how long. Um, they. He was out. Uh, he's doing the business with his, you know, desserts. I don't know if it's gonna have that, you know, 420 in it. But hopefully, he has some 420 in his snacks. You know, little edibles to get a bitch right. You feel me? I don't want no edibles because I don't want to hear my beat. I don't want to hear my heart start beating and shit like that because I'll go crazy. 
up in this bitch. I had once before. Y'all go look at my other video when I tried edibles for the first time. I had that video. It's not a mm -mm, child. Uh, yeah. But um, we get on the um subject of Pyro talking about Milan because Milan is friends with his boyfriend and how you know. He don't, he feels like Milan is evil. Um, I'm sensing there's not really a problem with Milan. It's the type of person. I think anybody who can look at Milan and be like, what do he gives? He gives me sneaky, like Milan gives sneaky because he smiles, he he gives unbothered, he gives like, I'm not really worrying about you bitches. I'ma just smile in your face probably talk shit about you behind your back while I'm smiling in your face on another day or something like that. I don't fucking know. But Milan is cute. Milan is, um, he always has glossy lips, which I love. I love his skin. I love his hair. Um, I love his outfit. Milan, that outfit in the, um, confessional was very top tier. I love it. Um, kudos to you, Miss Mamas. So he was talking about Milan and everything about how the, you know at the reunion, he he um basically sneaked the fuck out of Dion and pulled her ponytail and how you know he, it was basically he didn't I don't even know where the problem stemmed from. With them two, to be honest. I don't even know where the beef stem from. They really don't have no beef. It's the fact that I feel like Pyro had this one thought about Milan and who Milan is. I feel like he went off of that. You know, he really don't know Milan. I don't, you know, they have never, I don't think they ever sat down and have a conversation with each other, in my opinion, that I know of. But, um, yeah, it's, it's basically, you know, never judge a book before reading the cover or some shit like that. You know, don't judge a book because if you haven't read it, you know, but, um, yeah, so his boyfriend was going to set it up because he don't want his best friend, his friend and his, his man fighting amongst each other and having beef. So he was gonna set it up. Now we get to see Dion. Dion is working at his shop, um, working at his hospital or whatever. Um, it's cute. He has a job. He has a great job. Um, he said he's changed. He's more nicer now. I mean, I guess having your wig tug, you know, will change a person. So, liver for that. Um, but I will say this. Dion last season was very, very necessary. No shade. Even though he kind of annoyed me at times. It was like he's trying too hard. But I did live for his shade a couple of times. I did love. I did live for him a little bit. I did. I'm not even going to be a fake ass bitch and say I didn't live for it. Um, he just needed to calm it down a little bit. And just find his place where he can like get in and then get out. But he just kept going and going and going and going. And it felt really annoying. It, it felt very rehearsed. It felt very put on and shit like that. So I really wasn't feeling him. So, um, what else? What else? Uh, let's get on to the, the end of the, uh, the episode. Where Milan went to this fucking hotel and Milan said, why am I going to this hotel at 12 midnight to meet up with, <laughs> meet up with his friend? What is it giving? Is it giving setup? Is it giving this? Um, so they're talking. You can just tell that um, Pyro's boyfriend is very, very awkward on camera I don't feel like he likes having this conversation this contrived conversation on camera 
I bet they had to do it like 23 times because he kept laughing in between takes. Um, it was just like, ugh. All right, cool. So then we usher in Pyro, and Pyro is me. He's smiling because he just knows, girl. Let me just get, let me just spruce enough for this scene. Let me be on my best behavior. Let me put on my my best fake smile so Milan can understand how I see him because I feel like that's how Darian uh, Darion Pyro sees Milan with this fake ass smile that think everything is hunky dory when it's not. So yeah, they have a talk. And let me just give y'all the judge because I'm not going back and forth with this shit. Um, they both... Pyro is the real one that had a problem with Milan. He thought one way about Milan and he just ran with it. He think that Milan is phony. He think Milan is evil. He think Milan is just the scum of the earth. And he don't, he don't sit with people like that. He likes sitting with real bitches, doing real things, and having real emotions. But it's a difference with Milan because Milan is going to give you this Hollywood like, girl, what is the problem, sweetie? Why are you so mad? Oh, darling. It's, it's, it's. Or some dumb shit like that. I don't fucking know, child. But it's like, he's going to give that fake, na nice, nasty type vibe. And I think that's why kind of Pyro don't like him, Loki. Because Pyro is not with the nice, nasty. Like, if you don't like a bitch, you know that, you know, it, like, you know when a bitch come in my area, bitch, I'm going to have the irritation of a lifetime on my face because I don't like this bitch. Why is this bitch over here? Why is this bitch in my vicinity? Like, who told you to come over here? I don't like you, and you need to know that every time you come around me, it's going to keep the same energy. And that's what Pyro's about, keeping that same fucking energy. Don't switch up. There's no switching up over here. Keep that same energy, bitch. That's it. But, you know... They, you know, bringing it all together, Leon, the boyfriend, basically said, listen, y'all both don't have a problem. Y'all need to come together, be cool, be cordial, at least start anew. And that's what the fuck they did. And you know what? That's the end of the motherfucking episode because it was a premiere season. It was a premiere season. It wasn't that much. I can't wait for this season to unfold. Because there's a lot of shit that's going to happen. And that, um, that's going to transpire that baby child. It's going to be a lot, child. I hopefully I have the stamina to, you know, put forth it. But, you know, it is what it is. So, you guys, um, please, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Please click that notification bell to be notified when I upload a new video. And I will see you in the next, next video, okay? And subscribe to all of my social media down in the description below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Woo!